Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel for another Project Zomboid guide. Now it's been a little while since I did any tips videos, but with the new updates on the way, I figured it might be a good time to get back into it. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the locations in Project Zomboid that can be super handy for stocking up your armory with guns and ammunition. I'm going to rate these locations based on three factors, loot abundance, risk factor, and accessibility, all out of a total five points each, one being the worst and five being the best. Now if if you find this video useful and get some locations to check out in your own playthroughs, consider dropping the video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Project Zomboid guides, updates and gameplay. So I'm going to kick off this list of places to acquire guns in Project Zomboid with one of my all time favourites and I find myself hitting these two locations quite regularly in multiplayer games. And that's the two military checkpoints along the fence just south of Louisville, built to contain the initial infection. For loot abundance this place probably sits somewhere in the middle ground. Ground. There's quite a few foot lockers and a couple of lockers for weapons too, but nothing massive. So we're going to give that one a 2 out of 5 for loot abundance. Risk factor here is incredibly low, especially if you've got a vehicle to get here. So I'm going to put that down as a 5 out of 5. The only thing that might give you trouble with this location is the actual trip itself. So bear in mind that if you're in single player, you'll likely need to break through the gates at the Louisville refugee camp. For that same reason, accessibility of this location isn't fantastic but it's also not locked behind anything that would require a sledgehammer. It's purely the process of getting there that can be a bit tricky. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 for accessibility as well. Overall, a really solid location if you're playing multiplayer and relatively low risk for what you're able to acquire. Next up, we're going to take a look at one of the most infamous locations for weapons and ammunition since the multiplayer update, the Louisville Police Department and Prison. Now, the reason I say this location is infamous is twofold, both for its absolute boatload of weapons and absolute boatload of zombies that you're going to have to fight in order to get to them. On the first floor of the building you'll find an armory, which is stocked full of these metal shelving units carrying weapons and ammunition. It's probably one of the most abundant places for weapons in the vanilla map, and for that reason it's getting a 5 out of 5 in this section. Now with that said, just like we mentioned earlier, you're going to have to face a lot of risk getting here. There's going to be a lot of zombies in this area, and travelling through the city usually is isn't easy either. If you're planning on hitting this place, bring some friends, plenty of ammo, or better yet, both. For risk factor, I'm rating this a 1 out of 5. Lastly, we've got accessibility. Now there is a locked door between you and the armory, but it's pretty easy to bust down if you've got an axe handy, that or you kill a few zombies inside the building, and one of them is likely to drop a key for those doors. Now with the amount of zombies around, that's not going to be a tricky task. So it's a 4 out of 5 for accessibility. To sum up, this is the perfect location to stack up your armory, but it can pose a hell of a lot of challenge getting inside without getting chomped on by wandering hordes. The next location on our non-stop tour of guns and ammo is in West Point, the gun store behind Twiggy's Bar. If you're looking for a place outside of Louisville to get you that first haul of ranged weaponry, this place makes for a great one to loot. Now in terms of abundance, this place is pretty stocked up. It's not to the levels of military armories, but it's definitely going to give you a good loadout and a fair bit of of ammo to boot. I'd probably put it at a 4 out of 5 here. Where this location really stands out though is its low risk level when compared to other areas. With it being right on the outskirts of West Point, you're only likely to have to deal with a couple of groups of zombies for a pretty big payoff, which is why it's such a good location to hit for getting that first loadout of weapons. For the risk factor, I'm rating this a 4 out of 5 as well. Possibly the best location that I'm going to have on this list when you compare the payoff against the risks. Lastly, we've got accessibility and this is where this location suffers from something that quite a few gun stores do in Project Zomboid, and that's the fact that they have metal shutters over all entrances. For anyone that isn't aware already, this essentially means that you'll need a sledgehammer to access the gun store. Without it, you're not getting in, and sledgehammers can be very difficult to find as well. For this reason, I'm giving this a 2 out of 5 on accessibility. The only reason it's not a 1 in this area is because it's in one of the spawn locations, making it at least easy to get to. Next in our lineup is a fan favourite, one that I know a bunch of people will hit when making their way into Louisville, but there's a bit of a hidden gem here that a lot of people may not realise. So the refugee camp at Louisville. Spare for one other sneaky route, it's the only way to access Louisville. There's quite a few zombies wandering around this area, but once you get inside the gates, things get a bit more manageable. I'd always recommend coming here well armed, and if you can, bring an axe or a sledgehammer and that's even better. Honestly, this area is a great place to loot for clothing and equipment 
there's some medical supplies and even some food around as well. But in terms of weapons and ammunition, abundance, I'm rating this a 4 out of 5. There's plenty of foot lockers in the various tents offering smaller amounts of ammo and weapons, but there's also a large collection of crates under the awning on the northeast corner. This is where you'll find plenty of medical supplies too. Lesser known to most people, there's also a large shipping container just inside the entrance on the right hand side of the road that contains a massive amount of weapons and ammo. You'll need an axe to chop down the metal door keeping you from accessing them and even after that there will be some that you can't reach. So a little tip here, if you already have a sledgehammer, rather than moving the crates around, you can just walk round the back of the ISO container and smash a couple of holes in the walls and that'll allow you to access those crates without picking them up and moving them. This keeps them spawning on multiplayer servers so you're not going to have to worry about the loot respawns being finite. Due to the zombies in the area I'm rating this one a 2 out of 5 on risk factor. You'll need to do a pretty big clear out here but it's possible if you're careful about it. For accessibility I'm going for 3 out of 5. Most of it is available to you without any tools at all but the big haul is within that ISO container requiring certain tools to access. Now it's back to Louisville with the next one with another pretty easy location to reach without too much risk involved. On the southeast corner of Louisville there is a small hunting store. There's also a grocery store and a tool store nearby so it makes a pretty decent location for any survivor to loot. Now don't expect a huge haul here but it's still pretty decent in comparison to a openly available location. I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5 when it comes to loot abundance. Now it's still in Louisville so you're going to find quite a few zombies around in this area and I'd probably rate this as a 3 out of 5 in risk factor as well. Lastly we've got accessibility. It's a bit of a drive to get here from the spawn locations and this marking will be a bit subjective based on whether you're basing in Louisville or otherwise but I'll go for a 2 out of 5 here. It's a long drive and still requires a sledgehammer to break through the shutters in order to access the loot. We're getting closer to the end of this video but with a couple more to go I wanted to go to a bit more of a unique location that I don't think gets visited quite as much as it should be and that's the Knob Creek Hunting Lodge and I still love that name by the way. The shooting range nearby is also included and they are two very good locations to secure some firearms for yourself especially if you're on the way to Louisville. There's a few lockers at the hunting lodge and this isn't going to net you a huge amount but it is a good location to find some hunting vests if you don't have a vest already. The real prize is the shooting range which is going to have much more available for you. Both of the locations together I'd probably probably say the loot abundance is about a 3 out of 5 here. Now the risk factor is a bit more tricky because the hunting lodge really isn't that bad at all and only has a few zombies around usually but the shooting range is definitely going to give you more trouble. Now for that overall I'd say a 3 out of 5 but I'd say the hunting lodge is more like a 5 out of 5. It's a piece of cake usually to loot it. Lastly we've got accessibility. The great thing about these locations is that they aren't far from West Point so driving out to it is fairly easy and thankfully it doesn't require any special tools. No sledgehammer and most importantly the doors themselves aren't even the type that usually lock. Smash a window and you're in. It's a 5 out of 5 for accessibility on this one. Last one for this list and it's back to Louisville again. We're headed to the northwest corner on this one. You can get here by taking the road around the outskirts of the city and it might take you a little while to find it but I like to pull up out the back towards these self storage units that are shown in the videos now to avoid the front entrance where a lot of of zombies tend to gather in the car park. There's a lot of weapons to be had here as well as some hugely useful winter clothing and various military equipment. There's melee weapons here as well and camping supplies too. Personally this one I always try to hit as it just gives you a lot of supplies you'll have a hard time finding otherwise. For loot abundance I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. Risk factor I'm putting it at a 2 out of 5. There's a lot of zombies and the drive here can be a bit treacherous too considering it's Louisville. With some clever movements however you can sneak in and avoid the wandering hordes by entering through a side window or through the back entrance. Now lastly we look at accessibility. Sadly this location is a 1 out of 5. It's right at the top of the map, pretty much as hard to get to as possible from the spawn points, but it is also locked behind both a locked door and the metal shutters. Well, guns and ammo will be anyway. You'll need to come prepared for this one with a sledgehammer in order to access the guns and ammo. So that's it for my one stop shop for my favourite loot locations when it comes to guns and ammunition in Project Zomboids. I know there are plenty more in the game but I wanted to focus this video on what I'd consider to be my favourites whilst keeping it relatively short and concise. That said if there are any locations that you like to loot which I've missed in this one let me know in the
in the comments to help out other people watching this video. Lastly, a huge thank you to all of my patrons that support me in what I do and gain access to our whitelisted Zomboid server by doing so. There's a link in the description. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.